This is Graham coming to you with another video. Today we're going to be covering some extra security measures that you can do. We've been focusing recently a lot on WordPress security. This is one way that those of you who don't use WordPress or those of you who use WordPress in conjunction with FTP can help make sure that when you upload and download content to the server, it is done more securely for you to help protect everything. So we're going to be focusing on, for this video, a program called CyberDuck, which is for the Mac, for those of you who have never used it before. Now, we have already done a video for the Fazdil as well, which we're going to be showing and doing in conjunction. So those of you who are using Windows and need an FTP program or already use Fazdil, you can skip over to that video and you can check that out as well. Now, this one for CyberDuck here, we're going to be showing you how to set it up from start to finish. Additionally, we have set all of these settings within the actual member zone itself, so that if you ever forget this or you're ever having trouble with it, you can always check there as well, and we'll show you where to get to there. So the first thing you can do whenever you're going to find any information for your account is you can go within Member Zone to find this. Now, within Member Zone, you can easily find this under the Quick Reference heading once you've logged into your account by going to where it says FTP Info. Now, you'll see this located at, towards the bottom of the regular information that I used to show here before. Now, this message is saying that basically to best protect your hosting account and data, we highly recommend that you connect to our servers using a secured FTP connection. Now, what this means is that whenever you're connecting, whenever you're uploading, downloading, or touching any content whatsoever, it's going to be done through encrypted channels. So you can worry less about anything being leaked across, and it's definitely a better and more secure way to do it, which is why we do have this notification here to remind everyone who's not already using it. Now, this does work for cPanel itself, so we're going to be showing you exactly how to get this up and running. So the first thing we need to do now that we've showed you this information is to get CyberDuck up and running. When you open CyberDuck, you're going to be coming to a screen like so. Now, within CyberDuck here, the first thing we're going to do is go to where it says Open Connection. That's going to show us a whole bunch of different options here of ways you can connect up. The first thing we want to do is you'll normally see it will default over to where it says FTP File Transfer Protocol. So we want to select over to where it says FTP-SL and explicit auth TLS will be in brackets, so you don't need to worry about that. But where it says FTP-SSL, you do want to make sure you select that one there. Don't select the other ones here below that, because they're definitely going to not work the same way, cause you some issues. So once you've selected that one, you want to go to where it says server, and you can type in the address here. Now, this is normally just FTP, followed by a period, and then where it says sample domain.net in the example of the one we're doing, but this would be followed by your domain instead. So you just do FTP dot and then your domain. Where it says port, you can actually leave this as 21. You don't need to worry about this at all. The URL, we're also not going to worry about either. Where it says username, you need to make sure to put in your username here. So in this case, you can see it's already entered. It's remembering it from our normal settings that we had under FTP. Where it says password, you want to type in your password here. Now, for those of you who don't like to type it in every time, you can select on where it says Add to Keychain. This will add it to your Mac Keychain along with any other login information you've stored and saved. So those of you who like to log in every time, you can go ahead and make sure this is unchecked. In this case, we're going to actually leave it unchecked because it's a little more secure that way and better off to do it. I can understand it is definitely a little more time consuming, but definitely better safe than sorry, that's for sure. Now, a lot of you may not see these options right away where we have below, but what you can do is where it says more options, you can click on this and select on this where it says path, and you can type in the path here. Now, for those of you here on cPanel, your normal path name is just public underscore HTML. You can see we've got it in here, so slash public underscore HTML slash. This is where you're normally putting in any of your web files and any contents. Even any subdomains or add-on domains are still going to be stored under here. So you can set it there to make sure that you don't accidentally replace any system files or anything else. So it is a good place to do it. Now, you can leave it blank if you want, and there's not a problem with that. Just make sure not to modify any files outside of that folder, as those definitely control the rest of your account, and they can result in your account breaking or doing things other than expected. So to be on the safe side, you may want to put it in just as we have it here. The connect mode and the encoding, we can leave it at default. You don't need to worry about that. Once we've got that here, we want to click on where it says connect. It's going to come up here and give you a message saying you need to verify the certificate. Now, this isn't an error message. This is actually an OK message, and it's completely expected. What's happening is CyberDuck is telling you that it's connected to the server 
it sees that there is security and encryption and an SSL document all set up and ready to go, but it's not sure whether or not it's your trust and it's asking you to give the final say. Now, if you click on where it says show certificate, the reason for this is because it says the actual domain name or actual one common name as it's referred to showing up on there is actually set up to the direct server itself rather than your domain. And that's just actually the reason why it's not sure of it. So we can see here that showing is definitely connecting to the right server because it's showing it .easy.com, which is where it should be going to. If you actually log into cPanel and look along the left-hand column where all your account information is, it'll actually show you the name of the server. So you can always confirm it there as well if you want. Make sure you're connecting to the right one. But if you see .easy.com at the end of it, it's a pretty good indication to you that you've hit the right place and you're good to go. Now what you can do to make sure this doesn't show up subsequently if it ever happens again, is you can check mark this option where it says always trust the server here when connecting. Now you will only see this always trust option if you actually click on the show certificate. So you do want to make sure to go ahead and actually select that to make sure you can enable to always allow it. Once you're ready, you can click on where it says continue and it says that we're making changes. For those of you who have the Mac settings, depending on how you have it set up, you may see an actual warning pop up that asks for you to provide your login information because you're always trusting an exception. If so, you want to put that in. If you have that disabled within your settings, you don't need to worry about it, you're not going to see it, depending on how you have your user privileges set up. So just throwing it out there to make sure you're aware of it in case you see it. So we've gone ahead and we've made sure it's allowed in. As you can see, it's now showing up all our website content. Now, for those of you who chose not to put in the public underscore HTML, you're going to see much different kind of set of folder structure here. Most of those are going to be system files and folders. You do not want to touch them again. You only want to go into the public underscore HTML folder. In here, we can see that these are all of the actual website files. Some of these are ones that we've used for other videos for the sites. And as you can see, we're in here. So now that we're connected to the server, anything we download, upload, or reference to the server at all, it's all encrypted. It's all covered across by the unique key on the SSL document, so don't need to worry about it. It is properly protecting everything you're doing. So this is one way you can make sure to easily connect to the server, make any changes, make sure everything is encoded and encrypted so that everything you do is more secure. Now again, we mentioned this is available on cPanel. For those of you who are using our Enzoom servers instead, we unfortunately don't have the setup right now, but we're more than happy to actually migrate your accounts over to cPanel if you want. You can quickly call into us. We'll be more than happy to do that. You can contact us and we can help you walk you through everything that needs to be done. There's a one-time charge of $12.95 to actually do it, which that's just us actually creating your account on the new server for the administrative work for it. But we'll be more than happy to help you. Make sure you do have a backup of the site because we always do recommend a fully backup everything before making any changes. Now, cPanel itself is actually more secure, does have better resource management, as well as a lot more goodies involved with it. So definitely, if you do want to access this and more security, cPanel is definitely a better way to go. And we'll be more than happy to help you set that up. Make sure you do follow us on Twitter as well, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. You can make sure to like us there as well. Now, we are going to be bringing you more videos, of course, where we're going to be bringing you any kind of security updates that goes through. So you do want to make sure to pay attention to those. Additionally, we do have WordPress information always being updated on our wordpress.easy.com. And we do have some security videos set up there, as we did mention earlier. So if you are using WordPress, definitely go to the site, check it out. You may find ways to better protect your WordPress site. Thank you.